Hi everybody, so right now we are going to do is that draw 5 uh, uh, squares using Python uh, total graphics once uh, each square is 20% more than the other one, the previous one and all those, uh, square, all those squares are cascaded in, inside each other so uh, right now uh, we have uh, we can close this down right now we have code which is from uh, exercise available exercise and what it does is that uh, it draws five squares next to each other and same size so we can use the same code i can i can close this one same i we can use the same code to uh, manipulate so first one thing we need to do is that to need to have a size we can say sc size which is 20 right now so instead of this we will give uh, the variable size here next what we want to have is that uh, we can have size is equal to size plus 20 so each time the next square is drawn it will be 20 size more than the previous one so if i hit control s f5 you can see squares are next to each other but uh, the size gets bigger what we want to do is that uh, previously we had uh, lx move our total move every time for 40 which we don't want because we want the same uh, square on each other so we will comment this out we will hit uh, f5 to run and see what happens it is drawing the same square over and over but what we want uh, it is like it's not very clear the squares are not perfectly each and it's what we can do is that we can uh, close this yes we have this so what we need is that uh, somehow we need uh, to set the position of our x and y each time along with we, the size so we will increase the size also but we will also set the position so for what for that we need a variable x we can have a value 0 right now we have a variable y so these are uh, positions x y of uh, the coordinates values just uh, right here we can also say each time you increase 20 uh, you can decrease the value of x let's say to minus 10 we are decreasing the value minus 10 so each time so if it it was like x was here so it will next time it will go a little bit there so we will uh, decrease the size of x and y also so we can say same here y minus 10 so same percentage of value Will decrease for both x and y so instead of going forward what we need is that uh, we need to have the lx set position there is a function called set position we can say set position so see it will it will need an x and y so we will have x and y let's see what happens here so we hit control s and f5 see it's drawing each square the next time it draws the next square which is 20% size bigger but at the x value which was 0 0 here it got minus 10 minus 10 here then it got minus 20 minus 20 here and we can we can even run this again we can actually close this first we can see if we want to increase the size more 20 and 20 so both x and y should be the same exactly same hit f5 so now it is a little bit going more bigger which we but opposite side we don't want this what we the previous the minus 10 was working for us minus 20 doesn't work for our size it also depends on size so minus 10 was okay going back to minus 4 minus 10 sorry and see 
your square is perfectly perfect squares are if you can have more squares or less squares we can also change the values of you can play around with this and hopefully it will help thank you